about 11 p.m. I am tired, I wanna go to bed. I figured I would take you along getting unready with me. Obviously, step one is taking off your makeup. When I'm feeling lazy, I just go in with these Neutrogena wipes, but I don't think they're, they're great for your skin. I think it's rough on your skin, and I don't think they take all the makeup off. So, I start with this Clinique Take the Day Off Palm. Obviously, I meant it is a balm and not a palm. And it, I just put it on my foundation, on my mascara, all of my makeup and it makes it easier to wash off with my cleanser. All right, now that I look awesome and that palm has broken down my makeup, I'm going to come in with my cleanser. I use the Glossier Milk Jelly Cleanser and I just put this on my dry skin and add water. Okay. As you can see, all my makeup is gone. Um, even my mascara came off. The next step is to exfoliate. So some of you guys probably know about Sonicare brushes. They're so expensive and I found something so similar for like 20 bucks in the beauty section of like TJ Maxx. And it's super simple. I just get it wet with warm water and turn it on and massage it over my skin. And this just removes dead skin cells and opens up my pores for the serums that I'm gonna put on. All right, instead of using my knockoff Sonicare brush once a week, I use this PMD Beauty Microderm Abrasion Tool. Um, I only use it once a week because it's really powerful, usually on a Sunday or something like that. It sucks your skin into this little area and just pulls on over your skin to exfoliate your skin. I thought it would remove some of my acne scarring a little bit more, and it doesn't, but it really exfoliates my skin like crazy. Um, I really do like it. It makes me feel super clean, but I only use this once a week and I only do this step of exfoliation maybe like three times a week. It's funny because while filming that video, I forgot the step about toner, which ironically I tell all my friends that toner is a beauty industry conspiracy, that it doesn't actually do anything, they just want you to buy it. All of my friends tell me that it evens your skin tone, shrinks your pores, um, resets your skin, and it prepares your skin for your skincare routine. So I use it and I use the Thayer's Witch Hazel toner with the old man. Okay, now that we are exfoliated, it's time to put on serums. There's only two serums that I put on. One is Sunday Riley UFO Serum. It is a little pricey, but it works so well. I'm a very oily skinned human being, but it helps regulate the oil in my face. It gives me like what my skin should be like. It's balanced. I don't get breakouts often. The next serum that I put on is this Aura Super Serum. And this truly is a super serum. It does everything. It fights acne, it's anti-aging, it, because it creates collagen in your skin, and it helps with cell reproduction, which means it helps with acne scarring, all three things that I want to take care of. It moisturizes, it does literally everything. The Aura Super Serum. I just put on a dab or two. That's actually a little bit more than I usually put on, but it's amazing, so we're okay with it. From here, I go to my acne spot treatment. So if I have a problem zit somewhere, I have the solution. One, I will put a little extra aura on just like a little dab and then this drying lotion is a miracle spot treatment i kid you not two days your zit is gone there is a clear liquid and a pink liquid you stick the q-tip all the way down into the pink liquid don't shake it i shook it up for the longest time you're not supposed to do that and you just boom spot treatment there's about like 50 other places i could put this <laughs> This is the hottest I've ever looked on the internet. I'm so sorry. Most of these zits are gonna be gone in the morning. Let's go on to eye cream. I love this L'Oreal Revitalift cream, mainly because the tip is this really cool metal tip and it's cold. It stays cold all the time. And so in the morning, 
I will just rub this cold whatever dispenser under my eyes and it reduces puffiness and it makes me more awake. Otherwise, I will just squeeze a little bit on there and rub it in with the cool tea. This has changed my under eye game. Last step, moisturizing. I have to give 1000% of the credit to my roommate, Victoria Rose Cook. Follow her. Her Instagram's linked below because she is really amazing. Um, she found, without any beauty bloggers, anyone telling her what to do, she found this amazing moisturizer. Lumine is what we're going to say. Glow Reveal, you guys, it's like a pot of water. Like I just take my finger and I just dab it. And uh, you guys, it's like water, I kid you not. And if you kind of get your spot treatment, uh, who cares? See, like it kind of dries, because it's a drying lotion, so it kind of dries onto your skin. I just don't like putting the drying lotion over the moisturizer, because moisturizers, I feel like clog your pores and I don't want to clog where I'm trying to spot treat, so. Right, now we gotta moisturize the lips because your girl's single, I gotta keep them looking fresh. And I love this lip sleeping ma mask. Victoria introduced this to me too. I put it on every night. It actually stays on my bedside table. I just take a little bit and put it on my lips. It comes with a really cool applicator. I just feel like the applicator gets kind of dirty sitting on my table and I don't want to put that on my mouth. As opposed to my finger which probably has a thousand more germs on it. Victoria? You just leave it on all night. It's like a silky chapstick that kind of takes forever to sink in. It's delicious. Don't eat it. It's time for me to go to bed. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing so I can bring you more videos. I usually struggle with oily skin, acne, acne scarring, and of course I want to battle aging. So if you deal with any of those things too, these products will be great for you. I use them every day. I linked everything below. Hope you guys have a great night. I will see you guys soon. Okay.